I started becoming a person that I didn't want to be, you know, because I, I hated for a long time, you know, I hated, uh, I hated the enemy, I hated the war, uh, and, and then that energy kind of, I couldn't control it, I couldn't harness that energy, so it started consuming me as a person. So I started hating myself, I started hating people around me, I started um, you know, basically pushing everybody away. In certain units I served in, I was the national asset, I was the eyes and ears uh, for certain organizations. And your intelligence, your, your training has to be employed in war, that's why they, they got you there. So they'll give you whatever you need to stay on the battlefield. If you work more than 72 hours, I mean, it was a practice to, to give us Adderall. You know, when, when we come back off of the long mission, we have to bed down to give us Ambien's. If you get injured, which you will, you will get injured in our line of work, um, they're, they're going to give you painkillers. And at the time, it was opiates, you know. So I was really dependent on a lot of those chemicals, you know, during my, my years in, in combat. When I got out, I started uh, facing, you know, anxieties. I started facing a lot of emotions I couldn't control. So I, I remember reading a passage one time, and it says, you know, he, he who cannot control himself can never control the situation. Right? And I, my life was spinning out of control, and now I'm starting to see the signs. And I wanted to change, man. You know, I just, I, I got tired of who I was. I just wanted. I wanted, uh, I wanted to be somebody else, you know? Did you work and strive to be a good human being in this physical life, you see? Because there's nothing more important than that in the final moments. Because your life will be taken away from you. You're, we, we transit through this world, we're, we're not gonna live forever. Life is just a bubble in a stream, man, you know? What did you do in this physical life, you know, that made you, that, that allowed you right minus when you left? Because when you're, when you're laying in your bed, you know, in those final moments, the only thing that's gonna go through your mind was, did I live the good life? That's it. It's not about wealth, fame, fortune, no. It's not, a, none of it. I realized that and, and I knew that I needed to work towards that because I wasn't, I wasn't there, you know, I wasn't there um, in my life to, to walk that path. So I needed to position myself to be there. There's a moment in a, in a person's life where the spirit takes over. The spirit had enough, you know, and do you listen to that, that voice at that moment? Do you, do you take advantage of that energy? You know? So I, I took control of myself by I wanted that change I took all the medication dumped it on the toilet and I was done and then there's a saying you know a journey of a thousand miles began with a single step then I began with that single step and then another step and then another step every single day another step I served my God and country for 23 years faithfully I, I served it man you know I never questioned any of it but when I left, you know, when I, when I was reborn, I walked my own path and symbolically I became Ronin, masterless. I don't have a master anymore. I, I am truly my own master. If I control my own self, am I able to control my own emotion? Man, I can control my own path of life.